I've carefully positioned my pan, this grey bit, in relationship to the flask. I'm going to start adding some green sand. Which I'm going to do to begin with. I'm going to just put a little bit on with this sieve, although it's not really wanting to play ball, so forget that. <laughs> scoop made from half a milk carton here. Let's just speed that up a bit then. And I'm just packing all round the outside of the flask with the green sand. Being careful not to move the pattern at all in reference to the flask. So I'm just packing by sand to begin with. If you use a ram first off it's a bit much. Here we're getting to the ramming stage, just lightly to begin with. Just keep going like that, adding a layer of sand, ramming that down, some more sand, ramming it down. And the ram I'm using is just an old offcut of banister or something. It's just any old bit of wood or something that'll do that's not too uncomfortable on your hand bit rounded is nice. It's easy to do it and end up with blisters if you're not too careful. And I like this ram because I can put it both ways round, get a nice flat surface on this side. Casting off. The question of leveling this off. Again, you can use almost anything to do the casting off, just as straight, as, as long as it's straight and flat. And you're just squaring the sand off to the top of the flask. And you'll have plenty of sand to clean up. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Okay, the darkness was beating me, so I've taken the whole shebang inside this last little moment of truth. So now we need to pull this pattern out. Being very careful. So, hopefully just loosening the pattern, it's those two edges is where it's likely to hold out the most. Size lifting. Oh, that's lifting too. Looks like we've got it.
Arms. Feels like it's got a lot of sand on it. Yeah. Hey, so there's bits where it's broken, like here. So all I'm going to try and do there is a very slight little bit of repair with the fingers work. And we're pushing here rather than dragging. So we're just pushing it together a bit. Some little bits down this side will do as well. Oh, made it a bit worse that time. This is a classic problem with green sand casting. I go into some details with the blog post that goes with this video about how to make better corners. Here I'm just making a riser for the aluminium to flow into the mould. Great, that's left a nice hole and taken that plug out. Now we just need to tidy up that hole and join it to the main pattern. Now you can get all kinds of special tools to do this, but I find a simple knife works fine. Now we just want to round over the corners and smooth them off with the finger so that the edges don't get eroded by the in-washing aluminium when that comes into the mould. Now this is the second part of the pattern and we're just drying the surface with a blowtorch. I'm going to lift this one which is the top of the pattern onto this other half here and we'll see how it goes. You can see I put a little cookie thing in there uh, technically called a core, that's going to make a hole um, so aluminium won't fill that spot. I was just using one of these tins to do a sort of cookie cut out. So hopefully this won't collapse, this has been left overnight. It's important to line up the top and the bottom of the flasks exactly as possible. Most of them will have locating pins to make sure this happens. So there we go. We are ready for a pouring.